Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this time I'm covering the uh, game Edge of Space. Again, this is a how to get started with it. I'm just going to cover some of the basics of the game and just kind of how to get started here. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay. Now I've been playing a little bit as you can see. I've got a building, i got some torches, found a chest, and I've got some uh, armor and upgrades. But let's, uh, let's cover the basics of the game here. Uh, first thing, when you start the game on the left here, It'll have a tutorial, and definitely uh, I found it helpful to uh, go through the tutorial. Also, uh, after you've been playing, uh, you can always come back and leave it on uh, the second page here for the controls uh, if you need to uh, reference those. In the upper left-hand corner, we have a couple different things. We have our health bar. Uh, we have our energy bar for uh, jumping and uh, gliding and things of that nature. So unlike... Uh, other games maybe like Terraria or whatnot. Uh, this guy, when he jumps, he actually uh, has a backpack. Even when you don't make one right out of the gate, uh, he has one. And uh, the first time you hit spacebar, he jumps. But if you double tap, uh, he kind of has like a little spacebar that he, a uh, little jetpack, I mean, that uh, he can fly around in. Uh, the upgrades to the jetpack just let him fly further and longer. But you'll notice uh, when I'm flying, uh, the energy is going down. Okay, see how it's going down. And of course, if you you know if it runs out, he's going to fall, and uh, you will take fall damage for that. Uh, all right, up here, this is kind of what you're used to, maybe for an action bar of uh, switching the different things, and you can uh, you can put whatever you want in these boxes. So the cutter, uh, there's my uh, mining laser, my uh, weapon, you know, plasma torch. Uh, then torches, and then I, you know, I had some building structures and whatnot. Um, R pulls up your inventory, uh, and here at the top of the inventory, that's where you can put the different items in there, uh, or take them out if you don't want them uh, in the inventory stack. And uh, here, I'll pull out my uh, mining laser, put it back down here, and you'll notice in the upper left it disappears. Okay, so that's how you have the different items up there. So let's uh, let's go mine something here real quick, and then uh, and then we'll talk about uh, crafting. So you know I'm just gonna I've got some dirt here in front of me, and I've got my mining pick currently selected. Again, here's my weapon. Uh, e and Q cycle through those. So again, let's go back to my mining laser. Uh, you'll notice how the uh, it's a red line. Uh, if I right click, it goes to the blue line, and that's for the background. So let me, uh, let me pull off some of the pieces here in the background. Now you, you'll see there's like a little clock face that appears there that cycles around just by my mouse. Uh, and that's how long it takes to dig that particular item. The things on the ground here are the ones you can pick up. Once you've gotten rid of the things in the background, they're the same as the foreground. Uh, again, right click to switch to the red. Here's my mining here. Like I said, we'll just get a couple items. Uh, things in the background are the same as the foreground when you pick them up. Remember, this is early, uh, early alpha stage on this game, so I, I don't want to be too critical as far as uh, the components of it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of it will change. I love Terraria. Uh, the only thing I, you know, I got tired of was uh, yeah, they kind of quit supporting it. Yeah, I know. There's a little patch now that they're out on the uh, the consoles or whatever, and that's fine. Um, but, uh, you know, I was looking for something, you know, with a, just kind of a world to hang out in and things to do, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm hoping this, uh, this will, uh, provide a lot of different opportunities. Now, these little guys, actually, they're safe. Uh, I was just destroying them for the fun of it. Uh, let's cover, so we covered, uh, the mining. Uh, let's cover these guys up here. All right, these are like your, again, and not to do a lot of Terraria, uh, comparisons. But it kind of begs to be compared. Uh, these are like your little jellies. Uh, and uh, the first item here, see it on the ground? If I pick it up, let me go to my inventory. That's this weak jelly goo. And you'll use that to make like your torches and things of that nature. So, okay, let's get right into that. R, by the way, is my inventory. I'm not sure if I covered that key mouse button. So let me pull this over here and let's talk about crafting. If you look down the lower right hand corner, you have two different items uh, on there. And they're covered with your 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. 
So there's one is that first one, two is the second one. So with the first thing, the crafting kit, the first thing you're going to craft right out of the gate is probably a, a rifle. And you're going to make this dirt cheap one right here. If we click on it, it'll tell you what you need for it. So if you take a look here, we need 15 raw mineral rock. So I have two rock at the moment. Uh, I have a bunch in my chest. Uh, so there's two rocks, so I, I would need more of those. And then the next one, we need 15 raw mineral dirt. So here's my dirt right here, and I've got quite a few of those. Let's uh, let's grab some uh, some rock here real quick. Oop. Let me jump over. La la la. I only need what 15. Now they're gonna start you off with a little bit of supplies, so you won't have to grab these right out of the gate. Uh, you'll be able to make that first gun. And that first gun's pretty weak, I'll be honest. Uh, you're really going to have to watch your health. At the moment in the game, I believe there are only two kind of uh, enemies at the moment. They're going to add more again, early alpha. Uh, they've got the, the goo things. Oh, I take that back. That's that's new. Uh, oh, 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 all right, hang on. Well, he shoots rockets. Dude. Okay, this was not planned for my uh, my let's play here. Because ah, it wasn't going to be a let's play. Whew. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> that was new. Uh, sorry about that. So what I was going to say is... Um, uh, crafting! <laughs> That's what I was going to say, was crafting. Okay, so uh, I have the dirt. I have the 15 dirt. Let's press the uh, the number one here. Uh, we have our dirt cheap, so we would take our rocks. Let me pull my inventory on the right here. So I take my rocks. You'll notice at the bottom, resource type, raw mineral rock. So I'll take those, drop them in the box. And then I need the dirt. And you'll notice I got 974 if you can see that. I only need 15 for this, so when I drop it, uh, it'll only pull off 15. If I need to make more than one rifle down here at the bottom next to the science, I just bump up that button. Uh, so uh, these are dirt cheap anyway, so I'll go ahead and make one. So I hit science. It'll tell me, you know, what I'm making uh, and the stats of it. I hit complete, and boom, right there in my inventory. Um, and that's how that works. Now some items, uh, let's take a look here, what I make, oh I think it was uh, some of the armor. So like I was making the, uh, I don't know, what was it, the titanium? No, it was the helix. That's what it was. Anything that starts off with inorganic, uh, that just means you have to refine it. So you have to pull up your number two, sorry, tap that more than once, and when you put it here, it converts it over to the inorganic stuff. So in this case, when it says inorganic mineral metal titanium, what they're asking for here is this titanium. So raw mineral metal titanium. Don't get confused. I know it seems. Once it, if I put one here and hit start, it'll come out the other side as inorganic mineral metal titanium. Uh, it's just a way of flipping uh, materials. Uh, from one to another just you know another crafting thing that they have you know and try and step it up It's like refining like putting it into a forge uh, You know to refine the metal uh, So no big deal there. So that's what the if you see inorganic It means you got to use that number two to refine it uh, Raw mineral that's of course raw you don't need to refine it. So in this case raw mineral uh, Well, you know what all would count. Let's see uh, dirt raw mineral Okay, even though it says dirt at the end, that works. If I look at my weak jelly goo, that's raw chemical, so that would not. Biomass, uh, just stuff I've dug up. Raw organic, so that wouldn't work. Uh, the rock would work, raw mineral, see there, raw mineral rock. So if it only lists a couple, it doesn't care what the last part is, just as long as you cover the basics. So, you know, use whatever you got, like in this case, I'd use dirt, it's all over the place, obviously. Uh, and there you go. Let me cover one last thing. Uh, actually, I might cover a couple items real quick here. Sorry. 
Uh, this is uh, when you press C, it's for your uh, character sheet. So you have your stats. Now remember, I've got some armor in here. And you have cosmetic items and armor items on this side. Uh, press C, we'll make that go away. The, come over here, if I press F, we can take a look. This is our respawn, or cryopod as they like to call it. I can die 10 times and respawn with my stuff here. If I am out at zero, if I die, uh, I lose uh, my stuff. I think it just drops to the ground. I haven't tried it. so. And you can make more of these cryopods. In fact, I had to uh, to refill them. So if we take a look how we do that, number one, come over here to the uh, tab. Ah, second one, medical. And then it's the cryo rods. If you click on it, you'll notice you need uh, some kind of a gel. So raw chemical and then raw organic. So uh, in this case, I was using, let's see, what was I using? Oh, I was using my biomass for the organic. And, you know, I think I was using my ice. Uh, I don't think I have any on my inventory at the moment. I was using ice for the chemical uh, to, to place that in there. But, you know, the weak jelly goo would work as well. See how it's raw chemical? Uh, so you could put that in and make those. Uh, and then what was the other thing I wanted to show you? That was the cryopods. Uh, of course, you know, you can make furniture and all kinds of different things uh, as we run through here. Uh, oh, the structures. That's what it was I wanted to cover. Because um, I ran into this a little bit. Let's say I want to get rid of this torch off of the wall. Uh, you can't mine it or shoot it down. Uh, it uses a different key. It's a little funky there. So X, see how it puts a red arrow on the top? And then if I X one more time, bloop, goes right into my inventory. Let me go ahead and put one right back up. And that's just like if you were going to dig. You just cycle through your inventory up here, uh, your inventory items. Pick whatever you want. In this case, torches. We'll put a torch over here. Boom. And then again, to get it down, you have to use X to select the item. And then X this one more time. Little window goes and boom, there you are. Uh, last but not least is F uh, will activate whatever you're pointing to, like in this case, it opened that up. Let me uh, come over here to the cryopod and hit F. The cryopod pod opens. To put new rods in, you put them here, hit the arrow, no big deal. Uh, I've made a door, it's a dirt door, no big deal. But put my mouse on, F opens, F closes. And there we go. So that's getting started on... Uh, the basics on that, the last thing I want to cover, and then I will let you guys go, I don't want to make it too long of a video, is I've found you can use torches when you're digging. Uh, you're going to do a lot of horizontal ex uh, exploration. Uh, it doesn't have to be, ah, it doesn't have to be all vertical. Sorry, oh, yeah, those gels split. Oh gosh, okay, I got a couple things going here. Uh, all I was going to say is, uh, do you see how when I was digging, I've, I've done this uh, channel? All right, I'll keep shooting while you guys watch. Um, these are, those are the crabs, by the way. Yes, yes, I know I'm horrible at shooting. Anyway, instead of the torches, I found that if I dug out the background, I actually got a better light level going. Uh, than using the torches themselves. The torches, I, I at least at this point in the game, I felt were a little uh, pain in the keister and not a lot of light uh, that they were providing. But uh, I did, I did uh, like uh, just you know digging out the background. It's it's another step. It slows you down on your tunneling or whatever. But uh, I thought that was was good. Gosh darn. Alright, well I am going to wrap it up there. I'm going to close the door and uh, let you guys uh, explore this. Uh, I picked it up on Steam. Again, early, early alpha. Uh, there's not a lot to do in the game just yet. Uh, I'm still exploring it. But uh, so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, there's a lot of fun things to it. Hope this helps you get started and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.